I'm Sir Tap Tap. Welcome back to Monument Valley Forgotten Shores. We're on chapter six. Last time we met up with Totem, the Citadel of Deceit. Oh, I love edgy names like that. I would love. Oh, I love how sometimes they look 2D. Oh no, they spin all the time. But like when they're this, just lined up just right. Like, like this, not like this. They look kind of—they look like they're too deep, but they're not. Um, anyway, I lost my train of thought. Oh no, but um, I—I I, I just love like edgy, dramatic names and stuff. I, I would love. Oh, here we go. Stuff like uh, attack names and like RPGs and stuff. Like, I, I would love just an excuse to write crap like that. Like, I. I almost want to make like an SRPG, but like I, I couldn't possibly do that on my own, right? But I, like I just want to write the like dramatic dialogue. I just want to write the the cool attack names and all of that stuff. I, I, I love that stuff. I feel like that's an underappreciated aspect of uh, some games. I think a, a good script and um, what the did you say? That? I think that's Nox's fault, honestly. Um, I don't, I don't think regular Monument Valley on a phone would have that glitch. Um, I was actually quite impressed how, um, a lot of, like, the, you know, quote-unquote physically impossible stuff works really well in Monument Valley, but hey, I think it's, like I said, it's just Nox. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> We're now playing Qbert. Did anyone play Qbert? I hey, back to that whole comments thing we talked about last video. What, um, did you ever play games in an arcade as a kid or recently? Um, I haven't seen an arcade in years. Um, I think there's an arcade bar, but it's... Uh, huh? I'm confused. Oh. Oh. It's one of those things where you gotta kind of like close one eye and it's like, oh, that's what I'm looking at. That's why it's called Citadel of Deceit. It's like, you think you're looking at the outside of a cube, but you're looking at the inside of a cube, basically, is what's happening here. And it's like, your brain like can shift the perspective. You ever notice that with some of these brain teaser things? Basically a playable brain teaser. Which, I guess you could say about every puzzle, but like... Can't go in? Can't go in? Huh. Um, but yeah, uh, arcades. Like, I, I kind of wish I didn't... There's still a big thing in Japan. Um, I'll have to check them out if I do end up going to Japan someday. I'd like to, but... Long, like, longish vacations. Like, starting next year, I get three whole weeks of vacation a year. It's like... <laughs> It's not the worst, you know, some people get, like, nothing, but, um, even for here in America, that's pretty rough. I'm sure people in the UK are like, what? But, yes, so, I, um, you know, long, trips to different countries is kind of difficult with a short thing like that. Um, plus traveling alone is, like, weird to me, I don't know. If I'd want to do that, um, I don't know anyone that wants to go to Japan that I know around here. I'll have to ask. Um, but yeah, arcades are neat, but it's like... Uh, arcades... Whoa. Now we're at, like, the Monument Valley uh, title screen, kind of. But I never had a lot of experience with them, because, like, you know, you had to go to them, and there, there weren't really any within walking distance when I was a kid. My parents didn't really take me to any. Um, I didn't really ask to, you know. I had... I got the Super Nintendo pretty early, so I would just play that instead. The Obulet. I remember looking up that word. You know what? Obulet. Isn't it like a... It's like a prison? 
An obula is a type of dungeon. Yeah, I remember looking this up in, um, after, there's a level in uh, Metroid Prime Hunters for DS called that. An obulet or bottle dungeon is a basement in a room which is accessible only from a hatch or hole, which we just went through. So, perfect name. I love fancy boy words like that. Five dollar words or whatever they're called. You get to use them like once a year, but you feel, it feels so good. It's like, yes, like firmament. You can use firmament a lot more than once a year, but people won't know what you're talking about. It just means sky. It's a really fancy boy way to say sky. Or the heavens, if you prefer. But uh, if you're write, ever writing a book and you need somebody to like look at the sky and be really dramatic, call it the firmament. Then people are like, I don't know what he's looking at, but it sounds really fancy. <laughs> I don't know if that's considered a bad habit or not. Oh, I remember this. Oh, this is, this level is so cool. Um, look at that. Um, I don't know if that's considered bad practice or whatever, but I always kind of like when I was, um, this was mostly me in high school, right? Um, when I had time to write more. Um, I always kind of wanted like to make the reader look up a word every, you know, so many pages, like learn a little something, you know? I know a lot of people don't appreciate that, and especially pre, like, I think pre-smartphones, like, it might have been a bit more of an ask, but at this point, here we go. Wait, are we here, or, ah, there we go. Hey, Ida, how you doing? Um, I don't know, I, I just kind of feel like, yeah, I see this crease, I don't think that crease would be there if we weren't playing on emulator. But we get a little bit higher resolution and a little bit less compression this way, so it still should look a little bit better for you. Um, it's just something that frustrates me, I guess, is the kind of lack of intellectual curiosity. And I always thought, like, maybe just kind of slip some big words in there. Not too many. Don't, like, just try to list as many big words, but just, like, I always kind of like that. I feel like, hmm, I've never heard that word before. I'll just look it up, and then you learn something. Hello, bird. Oh, I bet this one does it. Yep. Bye-bye, birdie. I'm gonna guess very. I'm gonna guess very expensive. Ooh! Fancy pants. Can we go in the water? Oh, oh man, I love crap like this. Like I said, this DLC is really good. It's really good. Oh. Gotta drain that water. Again, it's like a. It's like a very elaborate Zelda puzzle, because you gotta lower the water level and stuff. And you gotta turn things around. Ooh, I love these color choices. Really good color choices in this game. I wonder if they just like made a crap ton of really good looking palettes and we we're just like, alright, just draw from the board to pick from each level, or they just kind of... You, you never really hear about design decisions like that, if it just... It might have just been like natural, just all right, we'll put colors and then like, I like yellow, so we'll make this one yellow. <laughs> but I don't know. All right. There we go. This is probably my favorite level in this DLC. I don't remember the last level though, so I could be wrong, but... I mean, how do you not love this? This is kind of like that, uh... I forget what the name was, but that cube level that you kind of... Um, it was slightly like this, I guess. But that one that kind of opens up... 
it does seem like this was kind of inspired by that, because I, I at least remember those kind of like grippable things at the bottom of it. Plant. <laughs> Aw, cute. Aw, I, I love stuff like this. How many times have I said that? Oh! Oh, it's like... It's weird to see kind of like freeform 3D in this. You gotta love the, the uh, I mentioned this before, but the little, the musical notes uh, along with moving the stuff around just gives it a great playful tactile feel to it. I love that stuff. Cube? <laughs> I'm sorry, ever since, um, bloop. Ever since, um, little birdies, or butterflies rather. Um, ever since we played Subnautica. Check that out if you haven't, by the way. Uh, that was a really fun uh, stream. Well, it's full playthrough, I guess. Series of streams. I don't know what to call it, but yes, that was really fun. Um, but cubes were very important and mysterious in that game. So every time I would see a cube, I would shout, cube! It it, it made more sense if you were there. Oh, jeez. Do we split it up? Do I end it here? Or do we do... Do we just do eight right now? I'm just gonna do eight. I, I can't wait. This one, this video will be a little bit longer, but hey, I I, I want to do it right now. Nocturne. Oh, frosty. When your friend tells you to stay frosty. That's what you gotta do. Hmm. I regret my decisions. <laughs> I don't. Oh. The last level is always an extra big one, of course. You know what, maybe I will have to split this video out. I'll, I'll, have, I'll see how long this takes me. <gasps> totem! Uh, sorry, buddy. Look, Totem. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna... Oh, come on. Yeah, the, the, these dials are a little bit weird to use. In the, um... With, uh, with the mouse, but... Oh, here we go. Okay. So we we have to... We have to mend... That's a, that's a very common theme in Monument Valley, is the... The mending of one's sins, I suppose. So in the first game, we had to fix... The sacred geometries, which we're kind of still doing t now, as well. Obviously, we're going to have to fix Totem. Uh, there was no point to doing that. So each... Can I just send Totem off on his own? I guess I can. <laughs> the, imagine the headache this must be for Totem right now. Like, yes, move my head and my feet independently. If you can call that feet, but I guess. Oh, that's gotta be. That's gotta feel real weird right now. That's gotta feel really weird. Uh. Uh oh. Feet, feet, come back. Hello, little dude. Oh. here but oh <laughs> totem's not amused oh i see why it's like this now um, oh, totems i see why this i was wondering why what the point of this was but it's so we can do that okay and now ida get on here no, ida you can do that to be like, there we go, okay. Eh. Oh. Okay. I thought 
that's what we would need to do, but no, I guess not. Wait, what? Isn't that... Isn't that how I get, got... On? Here? I want to get off Mr. Totem's wild ride. That looks good. No? I could swear I was, like, here. Maybe I don't have enough brain juice to, to do these puzzles right now. What? Why can't I eat? I could swear. Can I? No. I just have to get off total. Oh. Oh! Why didn't that work before? I love those different instruments too. Um. Not my intention. Huh? Oh, I see. Alright. I think I think we're definitely gonna have to split that video li like I thought. I I greatly overestimated my abilities at solving final puzzle very quickly. Which is not not a very reasonable thought, right? It's like, all oh, these other ones were all like five minutes, but it's like, well, yes, but wait. Uh, oh, I see. I need two total pieces. Okay. Oh, hold on. Total. <laughs> this one's a little bit cumbersome. See this? This actually is getting to the point of <laughs> totems getting bored. Um, the multiple room situation that most, lots of puzzle games tend to have. Um, you can definitely complete them. Okay, get the head thing. Oh, okay, so I need two totem pieces here. I guess being split apart does not hurt totem at all. At least I certainly hope not. So we gotta do this, bloop, we gotta do this, bloop, and we gotta do this. Do not remember. I think I need all three. I think, I think I know what I need to do for the last one, actually. Never mind. Oh, wait, hold, hold up. We gotta, we gotta bring Tony back. Okay. I'm feeling cold just looking at this level. It's a frosty boy on a level. There we go. I'm so ready for spring, by the way. Like, real spring. Like, <laughs> uh, it can turn the heat off spring, and I don't need dehumidifier or regular humidifiers, rather. And what I need to do here. There we go. And I need one here. All right. Not just because of comfort issues, but it also makes it more difficult for me to do video stuff. So I need... Yeah, there we go! This is big brain time. Oh. Yeah. Get over there. And then we pick up- pick him up! I just pick my, like, mid section up with my head. That's such is the life of a totem. No, 
not a problem. Get him back over here. Now he's a little bit, a little bit disjointed here. But, um, I'm sure we can fix that. I'm sure we can just kind of like, wait. Then move that. And, uh, how do we get, there you go! I'm not really sure how that last one worked out, but uh, it did, and that's all that matters. Uh, now how do I get Ida? Looks like I should be able to walk onto Totem. Like I said, I feel like Nox player is being weird. That, that doesn't look right. Uh, okay. Huh. Um. perfectly lined up. There must be something wrong in the emulation. From, uh... How do we get you down? Get, get down from there. There you go, Ida. Okay. So what did this do? Sorry for the frosty bath totem. There we go. Okay, I remember how this works. I thought we. Well, I guess totem will be put back together once we do this. Maybe. There you go. Oh no! Bye, totem. You'll be fine. Fancy a dip in the frost water. I love the look of cold places. I, I do not actually like colds. I do not. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a summer person. I, I vastly prefer being too hot to do cold. I'd take like 10 degrees too hot over like 5 too cold. It's, uh... What's this? Crap! What is this? Oh, it's Totem! We fixed him! It's all good. Sorry about the whole... breaking thing. Oh, that background too. I love that, like, coral, like... You did the thing? reverberating drama to it. Ah, uh, yes, the test right. Hey! This, this is the final level of Monument Valley, isn't it? Huh. It didn't take quite as long as I thought, but it was also like 15 minutes on its own. I think I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it as one video. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Tap, tap. That was Monument Valley Forgotten Shores by US2 Games. I've heard Monument Valley 3 is in development, but it's not like technically announced or anything. But they, they put out a job hiring thing, so like, eventually. Uh, I should be able to play that one in a timely manner, unlike these prior ones, but hey. You know. I'll get to it when I can. 
probably much faster this time. So, that was Forgotten Shores. There is still more Monument Valley. There is Ida's Dream, which I believe is much shorter. Oh, that glitch is spooky. We have Ida's Dream, a standalone adventure. And um, there will be Monument Valley 2 at some point. Does Monument Valley 2 have DLC? I don't even know. We'll, we'll find out. Hello, Mr. Crow. Mr. Mr. Crow, you're gonna, you're gonna fall, M M Mr. Crow. No, no, nah. nah. He's he's fine. Don't don't worry about him. He he knows what he's doing. So we will play Ida's Dream next time. See you then. Thanks for watching, and let me know what was your favorite level. For me. It was definitely the Abulet. It was definitely the, uh, the little bottle dungeon thing that you spun around. But um, I'm a big sucker for the turn thing around. And there's a different thing inside that. I love that kind of stuff. But we fixed Totem, so what more could you want? Just tap tap, signing out. Alright gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.